Okay, so coach coach deemed you the defensive wrestler of the day. At least in the bar. Let's see the bar. You're defending what you build. I like that. So you go out there. Okay, so there's no official dual score. You right. know that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. So if you hear it, I'm commentating as though it is a duel. Okay. Okay. So I think great. that's I think that that's a, an important part of that. Mm -hmm. Two years in a row, you knock them off, right? Comes down to you both years, right? This year, overtime. What's going through your mind when you get into that second ride out of overtime, John? Well, just overtime in general. I kind of, I kind of get excited when I go into overtime because it's like it's kind of ups the stakes a little bit, and. Uh, I mean, I know that I'm conditioned to the point to go into overtime. So I'm just trying to lay it on that guy and just break him down. Because that's where I, I've just found a lot of people break in overtime. And it's just, I kind of view it as my time. It's overtime. I, I enjoy it. Getting the job done today in overtime. Then coming back and putting a bunch of points on the board. How good did that feel in your second match to get a tech fall? Oh, that felt really good. I think that was my first tech fall heavyweight. Really? Yeah, it felt really good. Mm -hmm. So how did you get rolling? What were you What were you going to? Because you went you went boots in double overtime. What were you scoring all your points from a, from the top position? Um, yeah, boots. It's it's kind of I'm shorter, so for me to be able to get and work their arms, I found that if I throw a leg in, I can get up there and start working on their head and their arms and really keeping them down. That's so yeah, boots are my my go to. I love boots. What's it feel like to be a part of a program that is on its way up? Um, well, I was in the last year of the previous coach, and just the expectations are another level. I think it's amazing. I think the coach expects us to win. He expects us to be the best team. Um, the, the coach before was like, well, you're Cleveland State. I mean, it's okay if you lose. No, it's we're, we're going out there every day, and coach is pushing us and expecting us to win. So I think just having that expectation is just a mental boost for the team and for the program. What do we got to do? What do you got to do? I know I just got to go to St. Louis this year. Mm -hmm. What do you got to do to be in St. Louis this year, wrestling in a Viking singlet? I've got to, yeah, that's, I mean, last year I was kind of disappointed. I, I my go-to match to the national tournament. Conti semis of the Mac. Mm -hmm. I got defensive pinned, which kind of sucked a lot because I was up in that match. So I think, I mean, I'm really trying to push myself every day to get better, but I think this year, especially after today, I think I stepped off where I was at the end of last year. So I think I can only, like, I just need to push myself every day and just get better at the little things and really grind my style out. Kind of like you did in the Kent State first match. Mm -hmm. You got the job done, right? right? You did get called for stalling, but in overtime you turned it up. Mm -hmm. And that's what you gotta do. Right. What is it like having Clint Musser in the room and Josh Moore? Both guys are NCAA finalists. Coach Boomer, Boomer's an All-American. These guys are super intense and they got a plan. What's it like having them coach you? It's great. There's just a well of knowledge that's just pulling out of, and they're willing to give you the knowledge too. It's really just the intensity is there, and they really expect you to just every day. Every no, there's no easy day. Even our easy days, we're trying to learn and get better. At everything and the coaches are constantly teaching us and I think they're they're bringing on new people that want to learn that want to push themselves to the next level want to be a good program so I think it's, it's it's amazing having those coaches in the room all right we don't even know where your next competition's gonna be you've had one canceled so I think you get next weekend off potentially but you might be competing you got anything else for me yeah I think um, Cleveland State overall has really met the match of the coronavirus. I think they've really, um, I mean, over Christmas break, we were one of the only teams that were in here actually training. I think the wrestling program has really pushed through it and really met the met the challenge that has been presented to Cleveland State Wrestling. I think they've done a really good job. That's good to know that you're and, at an institution that cares. Mm -hmm. And I think no matter what happens, this is kind of my view, this might be my last match of the year. I don't know. We could get canceled next week. I'm just trying to put everything out there every week as if it were my last match of the year. So I'm just, it's, it's you kind of cherish these matches more than you do previous years because you don't know. And you're just pushing and just keep going. 
that's I think where Cleveland State's at right now. A little bit of YOLO is what you're saying mm -hmm. to me. A little bit of YOLO. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. No, I, mean, I make a joke, but that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. You only live once and right. you only maybe wrestle one more time. You don't know. Mm -hmm. um, will you come back for an additional year? I have. So this is my fourth year. It's my red shirt junior year. So yeah, I'm coming back next year. Do you get another year? Yeah, I do. Okay, um, so are you going to come back for a sixth year? That's the question, um, I guess. Well, I'm in ROTC, so I have to graduate next year. I'm trying to go active duty. I've been I've been playing with the idea of if you're active duty, you maintain that eligibility year. Oh, do you? Right. So if I do my four years and come back, I don't know if my body will be there. So you get a pause. Right. You get the hiatus mm -hmm. is what it's called, basically. Right. So, like, what, it, it started in World War II that all the athletes were going, joining the war effort. Yeah. And they Ted came back. Ted Williams went and flew a plane, Right. When yeah. they came back, they, like, the rules didn't matter because they were, they were, like. Trying to defeat fascism right. and so, national socialists. Yeah, so that. They, they, the NCAA and the state rule, if you're active duty, it pauses your eligibility. I like that. You've earned that. Yeah. So Thank that's, you for your service. I'm, I'm thinking about Doing Seriously, that. no, thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. I mean that when I say that. Yeah. There's no sarcasm. The YOLO thing, sarcastic, mm -hmm. but serious at the same time because, you know, you only live once and mm -hmm. this could be your last match and I'm glad you understand that. Right. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Do you have fist bump? Yeah. Congrats. Show me again. Do you know he's the, you, you know that guy is right. alum, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You got to know that. Yeah. You didn't have to, to like drop some knowledge and edit the video. <laughs> John, we will see you at the MAC tournament. We will see you hopefully for one more duel, all right? All right, thank you.